Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, and we're going over your pictures today. Yes, man, do I love this. Welcome to episode 44, and we want to continue to see your helmets, so email your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com. Keep them coming. Right? Yes, 44. That's it, man. Reginald Martinez Jackson. <laughs> Google it. If you know, you know. So yeah. let's get into this right now. Okay. Let's start. As I'm sure you all know, Steve talks about the pictures from a photo photographer standpoint. I look at them from a helmet construction standpoint. I give my feedback on what can make them better, how I feel about them, and I grade them on a scale of 1 to 10. And Steve just basically tells, gives you tips and tricks on how to make them look better for your Instagram or yep. TikTok or whatever. And Jay has not seen these. And no, uh, I first have. time. First up is Colby, and he sent in a few, but I love when people send before and afters. Ooh, Colby. This is uh, raw. Yeah. So Colby has taken this apart. I see the shell here. Looks like he sanded it down, repainted it. Everything's black. I love that. Check out the, the, the decals on the back here. Those That's interesting. Is that, um, that cool? New Hampshire? So he says, here's a Riddell Speed Flex I bought on eBay and restored it into a New Hampshire concept helmet. I painted it, designed it, made the decals myself. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I think you did a damn good job. And here's one thing that I really like. I've mentioned this before, black and white. We got two colors in here. That's it. Yeah, and I like the fact that the black almost has a green. It's not jet black. Uh, and the face mask looks like it's painted to match the helmet. Great choice with the visor, which is, you know, Nike's got one of the darkest visors out there. It looks like he probably painted these um, the visor, or excuse me, the face mask clips black as well to match. Uh, or maybe he just got his hands on some black clips. That's possible because there are some floating around out there. And by the way, he um, designed and made this jersey himself as Jeez. well. Yeah. Colby, what's going on here? You're a man of many talents, I suppose. Well, I'm going to go with a pretty high score here. It's not going to get a pick. If you get a pick, you win a t-shirt. Yes. Um, this is close, though. But if you don't get a pick and we talk about your pictures, then you get a decal for free, which is nice. So, you know, because you did all of this yourself, it's, 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 really, it's really pretty good. It's, it's outstanding. super clean. I'm, Steve, I'm going to start this off with an 8.4. Okay. All right. And I say as far as the photos are concerned, don't change a thing. In this, it's all about the content, and your content was outstanding. So good work. Thanks, Colby. Next up, Fernando. It's just a couple, All but right, Fernando, I, we love our stories. That looks like a shot that belongs on our Instagram. It tells a nice story. It's in the locker room. It's on the bench. We see a little, there's a little thumb screw yeah. falling off here. This, this guy <laughs> came I, in limping. Yeah. It, 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 that's what, exactly what I'm saying. The story on this guy is all right. The season is almost over. Do I, do I have enough in me to just kind of make it <laughs> Thing to is the last whistle? Gassed. I tell you, I've never really seen this before, but look at how bad that flex, the horseshoe is almost extending out. Yeah. Th this that, might be that, retired. Yeah. I wouldn't, yeah, this would not pass reconditioning. Nope. Uh, I'll say that for sure. Um, but it looks cool. I would yes. say if you know from if it was just a little bit lower angle, maybe. But still, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it looks mean and cool and tells a great story. The cleaned out locker that's open. It's telling. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. I see what you did here. And you know when you want, when you send your pictures in, if you send them in, put your Instagram or your Facebook yeah. or your whatever handle on there because good. if we see something like this, I would throw this up on Instagram. I want to make sure we tag you and all that kind of stuff because a lot of times if you're sending us an email, we have no idea. That's a good point. And if you notice, if you follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram, we are starting to share these. The way to do it is don't DM it to us. We get a million DMs a day. Um, post the photo to your page or your story and just tag us. Listen to the man. What are you getting for uh, Fernando? Oh, I like that one. I'm going to go I with know. the... I'm gonna go with the uh, 8.1. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I think it's. I think it deserves it. Okay, next up is the story. I like the story. Oh yeah. Next up is Ron, and he says, "You guys rock. I love your show. Thanks, man. I put this helmet. To, oh, this is great. Due to the um, the aesthetics of the English Labrador Retriever. So it's an old school Riddell, and he literally made his own team up. Oh boy." And it's all about labs. I oh Jesus. Well, I gotta say, when I was when I was in high school, I had a lab. Well, everybody's had a lab in their life, right? Uh, my guy was great. He was great. This is so, super super creative, though. Honestly, he I even love put it. like the lab dad. 
What is that? Lab dad? That's is him. That... Yeah, oh, he's... Oh, I, I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. He's got That's his buddy. Guy. This guy's legit. <laughs> he's got his buddy in there. What gave you the idea to do this? This is taking your love for a breed of an animal to a total different realm. This is by far and away one of the most creative things that I've ever seen on this show, no doubt. Well, that's that's a bold statement, Steve. It's true. I'm not going to go that far, but I'm not going to say that it's not either. The man made his own team. Look at the chin strap thing. Go Labs, go. Maybe, I wonder if he's in Labrador. He said if we want lab decals for our desk to ask, oh. yes, we want lab decals for our yeah, desk. Yeah, we'll put it right Send here them. somewhere. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to resist. Well, I, I'm going to give this a pretty good score again. So this is the third helmet in the eights. I'm going to go with an 8.5. I'm okay with that, but I'm going to go with a pick. And you're oh, getting, boy. You're getting a t-shirt. This just makes me smile. I, I Like, we'll, the we'll whole see. time I'm like... We've, <laughs> you've said it so many times in past videos that we've done. Uh, outdoors. Yeah. Dogs, yeah. animals, uh, yeah. nature. I'm I love the look on the dog's face. I wonder how many shots <laughs> you took. <laughs> you trying to get that dog to put a good expression on his face. He refused to do it. He held strong to his core beliefs. Yeah. And this is the best one that you got. This is, like, I know that that's what's going on. Dakota is over it. Thank you, man. Good job, Ron. Next up is Charles. Oh, Charles. Very nice. First of all, this must be a gigantic room. Or those are minis. Uh, I am I think I'm going to go with gigantic. You know what I would do? It's just, just an idea. The ones in the middle, turn those forward. This way you don't have to pick if they're facing left or right. You know, just have them facing forward. But that's just, See, that's, that's, just that's, that's such a little thing. Let's talk about this helmet with the TX face mask okay. and all the white and red, though, dude. Um, well, the short answer is I love it. And I see that we've, and that we really appreciate this, Charles. That you you are purchasing some of your items from us. Obviously, the helmet hangers, whether they're full size yeah. or mini, um, but we've got the Under Armour clips. We've got the decal that goes on there. We've got the Sports Star chin strap. We've got the red um, Under Armour visor, which is an exclusive to Green Gridiron. I'm going to assume the TX HS4 face mask, maybe the helmet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, I love I love helmets designs that are only two colors. And I'm this, with you, and this is as clean as it gets. I it's love it. So so good, really really nice. The red, just every, I mean, red on white, it just pops. It works. You could do that with those exact same decals. You could put it on a black helmet. You could yep. put it on a gray helmet, and it's going to work with every single one of them. Uh, it's going to be an, um, another score in the eights. Got to be another one. I'm going to go with uh, eight point seven. Yeah. On this guy. Absolutely. Thank you. And, this I, is... and I love all the, the, the helmets in the background. I think I, I'm going with minis. Let us know, Charles. Are they minis? Or I I'm going to go with minis. This is a good, this is a good episode, isn't it? Uh, next up is Bruce. And again, this he did himself. Started like this. Ended like this. Oh, wow. Again, not exactly two colors, but certainly it's come a long way. From, I'm going to assume, let's say this was either his helmet that he wore or this is something he picked up off of eBay. It started, he actually has black clips in the beginning. Unusual. Black clips are not, you can't buy black clips. It's and what's funny is he painted them red anyway. <laughs> I, I, my gut tells me he painted them black. Uh, oh, <laughs> and, I got And you. then they needed to be painted red. Yeah. Uh, the face mask obviously was painted red. Uh, everything looks really good. This is so cool. So cool. You see what he did here with the chin strap? Tape? Yeah, the yeah. athletic tape. He even put, this is tape, the chin strap. He taped it oh, off yeah. and painted a black oh. What's stripe. What's the name of this? Do we know the name of this team? Uh, no, no. I didn't see a write-up with this one. Pretty, no. it's a pretty good job. It's not a paint job. I'm, I'm guessing this was spray paint. Oh, yeah. This wouldn't hold up on the field. Uh, correct. Yeah. Re but re just really interesting things. Good good things coming out of this one. I'm going to give this one another pretty high score. I, 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 I'm going to go with an 8.0 on yeah. this one because of all the work that goes into it. Um, it's not uh, you know it's not that high level mm -hmm. automotive type finish where he's yeah. got a hundred thousand dollar paint booth. He's jamming away on that thing, just but did it himself. Making yeah. that work with what you got is fantastic. The lowest score is like an eight so I know, far. I know. Yeah, I'm trying cool. to keep, keep it strong. Next up is Klein. He said, first off, I want to say that I appreciate you guys and your channel. It's given me so much entertainment. It's awesome to see all the other helmets showcased. Thanks, man. 
Um, and he is an OU nut. Please oh consider this helmet for the show. Well, Klein, you made it. And All right, we'll I'm curious for your input on this. He said he realizes he's got to work on getting the strap locks painted, but he tried making this as authentic as possible. And I... So, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that he got right. We've got a Shock 2.0 visor here in clear with Nike clips. That's exactly like Baker, Fa Baker Mayfield wore. He's got the correct chin strap which is huge you can tell because it's got the little um camp edition the, the little you know, the little rivets in there not an easy one to get by, get he probably either got that from the school or from sports star direct i guess we had a couple that we were selling we had like that three. was a while ago yeah. um and we've got like you said the strap locks they're not red to match the helmet okay but that's a little thing we got 3d bumpers on the front and on the back we, it looks to be we've got all the hey, legit wait. decals all over this thing um, my gut tells me that this may have started out as a Riddell, Oklahoma, authentic collectible helmet, and then he went and embellished all of these things onto it. That's going to be my gut. And the reason I say that, Steve, is because right here on the back, bladder valve. the bladder valve, is, it's not a place where you actually um, put a needle in and, and blow it up. It, I think you're 100% correct. I could be wrong. No, I think you're right. That's, that's what I'm going with. And I, you didn't mention it, I don't think, at least, but, and of course, the 808 face mask. Of course. Yeah. The 808 face mask. Which is not cheap. <laughs> no. So overall, I, I'll say we're, we're this one's, it, it's fantastic. And for a true fan, you're not going to get any closer than this, I don't think. For real, yeah. I, I don't even know if, it, outside of the strap locks, I don't know if Baker Mayfield would know the difference. Oh, not until he went to probably put it on his right. head and say, wait a second, or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with a 9.4. Whoa, man. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. knew it had to be a good one. It's good. Good it work. Good. All right, next up is John H. Man, I love when people send pictures of them wearing their helmets. So now, it's not ideal because it's far away and zoomed in, but you tried and that's cool. So John actually um, texted me. He oh. said, hey, I put these pictures up. What's going on? Or, or, or my son put these pictures up. So, John, they made it. And I didn't even have anything oh, to do with you picking them. that's pretty funny. So, um, I'm glad I'm, I put them on. <laughs> I'm glad to see them popping up uh, in here. And I, he only sent me the one picture. So I haven't seen all of these. But um, it looks great. It, it again, does. it's the it's two colors. Yeah, the face mask and the helmet are a different color just because of the materials and, and the paint use and all that, but he's got the blue TPU, which on this helmet, it looks fantastic. It, this reminds me of all things Smurf, right? Blue and white. I wasn't thinking of that, but you know. I, I mean, guess, it's, it's, I mean that in a good way. I, I, I guess I, I I wasn't much of a Smurf fan what? back in the day. So oh, Steve, you were probably he, just he, a touch too old maybe for that. Maybe. Did you miss the boat on that or, one? Or, you know, manly. Or I, mature, I, had mature. Two, I had too much testosterone in me as a kid. <laughs> right. He's got the Douglas Easy Pro uh, buckles on the bottom, too. And um, Yeah, this, this helmet is tricked out, so we got good. a lot of things on here. We got, uh, we've got, a, we got a nice visor. I think this is going to have to have a blue insert in there, it looks like, right? Or do you think that's just... Um, I don't think so. Could be the, just the blue of the sky reflecting. It could be, yes. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, we got yeah. the Under Armour clips. Obviously, that doesn't come with a shut. Those don't come with shut visor. And then we've got the um, Douglas Easy Pro Snaps. John, let us know what you think of those Douglas Easy Pro Snaps because we all know how I feel about them. Jay just loves them. Absolutely <laughs> loves them. Absolutely loves them. Um, maybe should we put a link below and where people can pick them up? I'll put them in the description. Absolutely. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It it will be the one per purchase you will not regret. Haven't gotten one return. Period. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, John, I'm going to give John, I'm going to go with an 8.1 yeah. for John. No decals on the side. Yeah. That's why it's all just that blue and white. And thanks Clean. for actually sending one with it on your head. I, I love that. So I want to see more of that. All right, next up, Rob D. Oh, these are these are just clean, simple, nice pictures. I love the green on green. Of course you do, Steve. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm seeing the back, it's got the big ducks, got the Pac-12. So this, I didn't even see the green on green in the, in the other picture that you had up there. I knew you didn't know what I meant. No, I, I thought you were talking about like the reflection <laughs> no, of no, the no, trees no, and no. stuff. Is this snow or is this just outside? I it's on, snow. Like, uh, I think it's, it's physically coming down. Is this the, in the great northwest? You know? 
<laughs> Probably. What kind, of, what kind of shrub is that? Looks like an arborvitae, Jay. Uh, okay. Here's okay. my one thing, and sometimes people see now with the branded ones, it might be a little harder. It still can be done. If you turn those visor clips, which some people would consider to be upside down, you actually could have raised that visor up and you would have closed off that big gap on the top. That's what I would have done. And first. maybe what's going on here, Steve, is he left it low like that so he can get a little bit more airflow at the top. Could so be. when he's wearing it on, out on the field, that releases some of the hot air that he's building up underneath sure. his, his, his hood. I'm going mm. to go with that. Mm. Okay. Give, give him the benefit of the doubt. Right, right, right. Overall, excellent stuff. I love this. It looks like the decals are put on nice and symmetrical. Uh -huh. Is that a word? Yeah. Um, Symmetrically. Sure, and the, these decals, you know, these wings, not easy to get on. I'm going to give this one another high score. See, every one of these. This is a good episode. Whew, I'm going to go with a 9.2 on this guy. I like that. Thanks for going outside and bearing the cold I weather. know how hard it is to put those types of decals on. Oh, not my easy. God, that alone is two points. And then, and then get them to line up, and the shock visor looks great in it, yeah. and the decals on the back, everything about it. Love it. Good, good stuff. Next up is Wit. Wit went super Dutch, which I'm okay with. So we got a DNA, not a fan no. of this type of helmet, but that's okay. NMFL. What does that say, Steve? That uh, says North Mississippi Football League. And then we got another decal over there about Mississippi. Yeah. And one of the decals is covering up a little bit of the other decal. And that just goes to show that Wit doesn't care. Wit doesn't care. He even ripped He's, that warning label off. Yep, he ripped that warning label off and didn't even bother cleaning up all of the adhesive. It's just like, I got to get this out of here and I'm off and running. I kind of like that. So overall, we got kind of, kind of a red, white, and blue theme going on here. Then you got the yellow beak and the eagle or whatever it is. Uh, soft cup chin strap. We got no visor. This is obviously a youth helmet. You got the orange pads on the inside there. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty basic. This yeah. one's not going to make it into the eight, Steve. No, and that's okay. I mean, yeah, tough competition today. I'm going to go here, since I'm being super generous with everybody today, I'm going to go with a 7.0 oh. for a DNA. <laughs> wow. That's the highest score I've ever seen a DNA get. Yeah, probably. Thanks, Wit. See, Wit, sometimes it, it all, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Next up, oh, and last already, is Javion. And he says... I did have to end up using electrical tape on that left visor clip. <laughs> also, I never really was able to get the S in the Smith decal on flat. He's got a little frowny face, but that's okay. We know how hard it is to get those big, weird shaped decals laid it flat. And I look at it like this. He kind of said it without saying it, but he did this all himself. So yeah. get to give, yeah. him, give him some credit for that. And what's going on? Where's the electrical tape? We, 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 so, so we've got an old beat up Nike visor. We've got kind of an old beat-up helmet. Yeah. We've got numbers on the back. This is obviously the helmet that he wore. It looks a little little dirty, a little worn. It's got a little bit of a story to it. 